Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, I got the question a few times. Uh, somebody asked it last week. We talked about uh, the images that you can download for Windows 11. And of course, uh, you have the image for Windows 11 that's available uh, for a free download. Actually, you can download Windows 11 or even there's a page for Windows 10 image and use that to install Windows. Now, the questions that have been coming, and one this morning again, is what about if I download this on a new PC that I built and install it, but I don't have a product key, what happens? Once again, Windows 10, Windows 11 have the same behavior. The way that it works today is if you don't have a license key or a product key for activating Windows, what happens is Windows still works and you'll be able to do pretty much what you want. What will happen is that you'll be restricted in some of the settings, especially all the settings that actually have to do with personalization. They, most of them won't work anymore. Uh, and you will have, of course, a watermark on the bottom right, a little bit like you would see here on my Insider uh, machine, except what it's gonna say on the screen is that you're not activated. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, technically, it's a breach of the agreement that, uh, of course, you have with Windows. So technically, it's not legal to use an un, uh, unactivated Windows, but it works. Microsoft used to do things in the past. Um, in Windows XP, I believe, yeah, it would restart every hour or something like that. And there were a few things that they did. Windows 7 also had something like that that... Every hour or two, it would have it would just restart, so it would kind of annoy you to you know get a product key because you'd be restarting all the time. But with Windows, at least Windows 10 and 11, uh, that was removed, and it, all they did was just make sure that the settings app, um, some of the settings don't work. It's kind of interesting. Um, I would have thought that they could use something like you know we'll we'll have it working for 30 days. And after 30 days, it stops working, things like that. A lot of software use that tactic, actually, is you can try it for a month and all the functionalities are okay. And then after a month, it doesn't work anymore. But in this case, they used a minor way of doing it. So that's what happens. Technically, it's better off with a product key because you'll be able to do a lot more. But it will work without a product key also, even for Windows 11. So you can download the images once again. Uh, for those, there's a lot of people that I don't know why they go to these obscure sites to download Windows. Uh, I guess it's from the good old days. You know, you couldn't download a Windows XP or Windows 11 uh, image from Microsoft itself back in the day. Uh, they did not let you do that. Now it's different. Windows 10, Windows 11 have images you can download to reinstall Windows. And, of course, you can also use that to uh, upgrade and another question that I would like to ask, somebody said that he downloaded this upgraded Windows. Now it says that it is not activated. Um, and, but after a little investigation, uh, he kind of said, well, you know, I chose the pro version to upgrade my home version. Well, there you have the answer why it doesn't activate. If you have the home version, you got to install the home version. If it's a pro version, you got to install a pro version. It will activate only if you have the same version that you had before. So uh, that's what happens anyways with uh, a unactivated Windows. It still works. It's just that some of the settings are not available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.